Hello everyone, welcome back to Tim with Tomes and Tales. Today I'm reviewing one of, if not the best piece of historical fiction ever, Shogun by James Clavell. This international bestseller was first published in 1975, and according to Wikipedia, Shogun sold more than 6 million copies by 1980, a real bestseller. Around the year 1600, an English pilot or navigator on a Dutch sailing vessel washes up on the shores of Japan. This Englishman, John Blackthorne, is both mesmerized and appalled by what he finds. He's enthralled by their beautiful politeness, honor, and craft dedication, yet he's also terrified by their efficient brutality and the death sentences given for even minor infractions or insults. All around Blackthorne are people that want to kill him. People like the Portuguese who have set up a trade with the Japanese and are the European enemies of both the English and the Dutch, not to mention the samurai who hate foreign barbarians and all things Christian. Many people despise this golden hair outlander. Most, in fact, do. Yet there are two people in Japan that find him captivating and are interested in what he has to say. There's the lovely Mariko, a Catholic convert and interpreter, and there's Torunaga, probably the single most powerful daimyo in all the land. It's not all peaceful beauty in this country, though as Blackthorn suddenly finds himself with a front row seat to a brewing civil war, all the while trying not to lose his own head. Shogun is easily one of the best novels I have ever read. It was inspired by the real-life experiences of William Adams and Tokugawa Ieyasu. At its core, it's a fish-out-of-water tale of someone learning the ins and outs of trying to assimilate to a new culture. The world-building alone rivals that of any great fantasy, like The Lord of the Rings. But, as I always say, no book is perfect. There is a lot of head hopping, even in the middle of chapter sections. That can be a bit head spinning. And towards the end, it does get a bit exposition heavy. I should also mention the length can be daunting. Clavel's first draft was reportedly 2,300 pages long. The author did cut it down some, but it's still massive no matter what version you find. Now, it might have been possible to have broken this story down into two or three separate books and turn it into a series rather than leaving Shogun as a standalone novel, but that's hindsight, and I think in, uh, it may have taken away from some of the book's magic. Again, Shogun is a masterpiece, and if you have the time to take on this tome, I highly recommend it. It's just too good to miss out on. Thank you again for joining me on my review of Shogun. I hope you enjoy reading it as much as I did. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons or check out my own novel, Baltimore City. It can be found on Amazon. Stay safe, everyone, and happy reading.